Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Second Cup of Coffee. Pastor Tom here with you. We're on the second week of our series, War, W-A-R. We're using that as an acrostic, but we're also um, looking at uh, how we war by the Spirit um, and not by the flesh. This is not, again, I want to be clear, this is not about war that you see with tanks and guns and those types of things. The Bible is clear. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities and powers. And how and how we do that is important because we want to be effective as the body of Christ. We want to be effective uh, in that. So last week we talked about watch and respond. Don't go just scorch your earth based on a little clip of something, but really try to flesh out what is somebody saying um, and doing um, in what they've said, and let me hear before I make a, a response. This week, uh, it's about wait and respond. Watch and respond was last week. This week is wait and respond. Wait and respond. Galatians 6.10. If you're a mature Christian, you probably know this, can probably require, uh, recite it by heart, but it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, verse 14, having your gird waist with your... Have your girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith. Okay, I'm going to leave it off there. You can read the rest. Above all, take the shield of faith. Wait and respond. Pastor, if I wait, I'm going to get wrecked. If I wait, I you know, I feel compelled. I, 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 be, I would caution you to, when you feel compelled or like you can't wait, that probably isn't God. Now, the Holy Spirit will lead you quickly, but there's a peace to it. Often when people feel compelled or like, I can't wait, there's no peace to it. And God's not going with you if there's no peace because he is the Prince of Peace. So what do I do? You put up the shield of faith around yourself and you stand. You stand with the shield of faith. What is faith? Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. What is the evidence of the thing not seen? The evidence of the thing not seen is I'm putting a shield by faith of between me and you that he is the door, Jesus saying that, that he is my strong tower. His, um, I'm under the shadow of his wings. Do you see all of that playing into the shield? It's shielding me so that I can stand. And in that place, I'm going to wait and respond. I'm not going to just react. I'm going to wait and respond because what I think and needs to happen and what may actually need to happen could be two very different things. But for my, my spirit to see what God is showing me, there may be a season of waiting that aligns me to be able to see something I can't see now. But if I don't wait and I react... I'm out of the timing of God, and I'm I'm behind, I'm no longer behind a shield of faith. I'm o- operating in presumption, which never works. I need to be operating in faith, and offering, oftentimes faith has a timing to it, and I need to trust the timing of faith because it's the timing of God. So wait and respond. Don't presume and act. Okay, wait and respond in faith. Don't presume and act. If you can start to internalize that in a spiritual way and put that into your spiritual um, tool belt, I'm telling you some of the conflict that you faced in the past in your life is going to dissipate. and You're not going to walk in the same places because you're going to walk in faith as opposed to presumption. And you're going to walk by what is really going on as God changes your perspective, as opposed to what you might think is going on. So, let's work on it this week. Let's wait and respond instead of presume and act. 
and react, okay? We love you. Like us on Facebook. Uh, find us on Facebook, YouTube, um, and Instagram. If it means something to you, share it. We love you, and we'll talk to you soon.